YouTube. Today is gonna be like a little different video. We're gonna be talking about the dreads. Cause there's a lot of y'all in my comments. Y'all been in like it's been for months. Y'all been asking for a dread tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to y'all. And um I gotta skip this. Yeah, see, I fucked up. Look, I had look, I had a whole script. I had a whole script before I this is like my fourth, fifth attempt. I was like, hmm, should I say this or should I say that? But I fucked up. I'm I'm gonna just do like how mine look like. I'm gonna start off with mine. If y'all want other like dread styles or whatever, I'll make a whole different video. Or if y'all want a dread journey, I got y'all. One of them, you gotta we gotta know your hair type. If you got like a 1A, 1A, you probably got like straight, 1A is like the straightest, you know what I mean? So you probably gotta just crochet that jump to get your dreads. If you got like 3B, 3, 3C, just search up hair types on, on Google, you'll see which one. Now that you found out your type, your hair type, you'll know how, how fast it will lock. A 4A, your stuff gonna lock in like two to three months. Your shit nappy as hell. So lock that junk up. Basically, the lower, the farther it goes to the four, the easier for it to lock up. Simple. Just look at your hair. It's not it's not that hard. And dreads take a long time. For it to fully lock is like a year, a half, or two years. But for it to like lock to know the difference, it's gonna take three to four months. But I, I've been in my I've been in the game for like two years and a couple months. Two ways your stuff could lock up, maybe three. But the one these are the ones I know. One is maintain, and the second one is like free form, just like all out. I got mines maintained. And you can either maintain them with finger coils or with uh twist. Or you can do braids. But who who do, who does braids? Like why would you do braids? Twist, you could twist them up and just leave them in there and it'll lock up. That's easier to be honest. Or you could it or you could like take them out and they can lock up, you'll have more. It's up to you, it's really how much you want it. Finger coils. See, if you get the finger coils, you're gonna go through a lot of trauma. You're gonna go through a lot. People gonna be like, you got them worms in your head. Bro walking around with wing worms. He got little little fries in his head. Yeah, you're gonna have to deal with that. It's like the starter lock phase. I see I never deal with that. Cause nigga try to flame me, you gotta flame him back. You know, I was on that. And second, let's talk about the free forms. Free form is just letting your hair go out. Like you see them niggas with wicks, maybe because it was most likely free form. Or if you see someone with like hella locks, it's most likely free form. Or you just see it weird, like you never, never you seen before. But dreads. Wait, what part of mine? You, if you want mines, if you want mines, the way you're looking at the thumbnail, you're like, oh, his dreads so nice, it's so beautiful, so handsome, so luxurious, so sexy. No, you gotta say that. Oh, sorry. I was... Get finger coils, because that's how I got mine. And then you're gonna have to wait. Don't wet your hair, too. Y'all gonna have to, you can't wet your hair when it's trying to curl up. Because, you know, like, the way your, your hair is so damn nappy, you just gonna just lock up on its own. It just locks in. And if you water, it's just gonna, like, break you down. So don't, don't water it for a little bit. I'm not saying don't wash your hair, but just don't water it. Maybe two. Only water when you get your next retwist. And when you first get finger coils, you might probably want to retwist like often a little bit. Like maybe like two weeks, three weeks. Because um you just started and it's going to start unraveling. Like I got some, look. You probably can't see, but yeah, you know what I mean? Look. Did I show you? No? Oh yeah, finger coils. That's going to get you in the game. But... Be mine, it's gonna look, it's probably gonna look ugly a little bit. Some of y'all is gonna look good. <clears throat> but if, if you got a noggin, if you got like a peanut, like an almond head, you gonna have to let your hair grow out. For me, I my hair was my hair like when I pulled it down and go here. But I had so much shrinkage, it like go up there. So you might want to grow your hair out. Cause since my stuff go down here when I pull it down, it started like right here. And then, like, after a few hours, the shrink is going to hit. And it went back up here. So I had to walk around with these little worms in my head, the same size it is. It's crazy. That's when you want to, like, put on a bandana or something to, like, even out the ugliness on, on your head. But get the finger coils, wait a couple months, get a retwist a little bit, not often, and you'll be set. When it grows, oh, don't dye your hair. Do not dye your hair, like, until it's fully locked. 
you can die when when you're done, but don't don't die because it's just gonna bleach your hair. It's gonna make your hair be damaged and stuff, and it'll just fuck. It'll just fuck up the process. I'm trying to give y'all all the information I know about dreads. Y'all gonna be sad. The females gonna be looking up to y'all like they're like, oh, who this dread? Yeah, you gonna be locked in. Um, hmm. What else do y'all need to know? Don't try to put your hair in styles too early. So when you retwist your hair, don't try to two strand twist them when they. Or maybe if it's short, don't two strand twist them or none. It's gonna put tension in the scalp and it's going you're gonna start balding. Oh, let me put y'all on game too. Get get a taper. Like, when I mean a taper, front taper. Don't get no fat taper up here because you're gonna look stupid. Because naturally having dreads is gonna pull your hair down or your your hairline back. And now you're done. Alright, so let's do a little rec recap then. Find out your dread. Oh, no, 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 no. Restart, restart, restart. Find out your hair type. You know, if you got a 3A, 3B, 3C, 4A, you know. To find out basically how nappy your hair is. Find out how nappy your hair is. If you want the, if you want my hair type, get finger coils to maintain. I got maintained. If you want hair type like, uh, I can't. I don't know. If you want like more dreads, do free form. Oh, also, let me, let me tell y'all this. Let me tell y'all this. I forgot to tell y'all this. If, if you want a lot or little, thick or skinny. So if you want a lot, say you want medium. No, if you want a lot, say you want small parts. If you want like medium, just say you want medium parts. And if you want fat locks, I mean, if you want not that much locks or fat locks, just say big parts and you'll be chilling. Just look, just look at like, search up like hairstyles, see what you want. And if they have a lot of hair, like if, if it's like a lot, get small parts and if you want hella dreads like 200 just, you might as well get free forms you might as well but if you want something like mine get medium parts all right let's get back to this recap find out your hair type how nappy your hair is get a retwist every month to three weeks something like that until your hair fully locks up figure coils i forgot you know what i mean dang you know what i mean like this this you know what I mean? Oh, let me tell y'all the dread the dread stage. So first, the starter the starter locks, the worms on your head. That's probably gonna be the worst. It's gonna be the worst of y'all. But it's 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 beauty in the struggle. You, you heard what um J Cole said. It's beauty in the struggle. So the more the more your stuff grow, you are gonna look back and like, dang, I don't know my hair used to be ugly as hell. And then probably after two months or a month and a half, you gonna start seeing the buddy a budding stage. They call it the budding stage because it's like you, your locks gonna have to start looking fat. So mine just maintained, but let's look at the ends because you see this? I got the little. Oh no, let me find a better one. This one, boom. Hold up, yeah. You see, see my mine's at the end is not fully locked, but it's kind of locked. See how that? So your 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 stuff probably gonna be like skinnier than this. And let me find a fat part. Look like this. This is gonna be the budding stage. You're gonna have like fat parts of your of your dread. You're gonna have like fat parts because it's like locking in on some parts. And then third, it'll just start like dreading down. Probably like a year in. You're gonna have a full lock. Your hair's gonna be fully locked like this. So that's the that's the little dread stages. It's like the egg larva and then blooming stage. It's like a butterfly stage. You're gonna be safe. When your hair gets like fully mature, you can actually like wet your hair whenever you want. I get I get a retwist every five months, every three five months, maybe no three, two five yeah three to five months maybe six, cause I really like my I don't really like my hair retwisted cause I like that that look cause let me tell you why some people don't really like that retwist. You when you get your dreads you forget you got a peanut head you got an almond head like your head is round like you got a cranium like a big metal dome on your shoulders you will forget that. And when you get the retwist, it'll start showing. So that's why people don't really like the retwist. But some people is gonna look good. But if you got a fat forehead or something, dreads is definitely what I recommend. And you say, I think that I think I told you everything. I might show some pictures or something. But boom. Make sure to subscribe and like. Do me a favor. I want to hit 10k. My goal is 30k, 25k by the end of this year. It'll, it'll be nice if y'all really. No, but what do you need? Let me drink some water. Let me look cool.
Alright.